Have you heard of the Situation Room? It's a conference room in the White House where some of the most important and top secret meetings take place. It's where President Obama and his staff watch the Navy SEALs take down and kill terrorist Osama bin Laden. And where White House staff met after President Ronald Reagan was shot in 1981. Some intense stuff, right? Well, some students got to experience what it's like in the Situation Room during an emergency. A simulation that's part of a program put on by the Reagan Library. And Ariel Hickson was there to see it all go down. So the really cool thing about the Situation Room experience is that there's two separate simulations going on at the same time. One outside in the press corps and one in here in the secret bunker. Yes, that would be a good choice. Here's the scenario. The president has been shot. Was he killed? Is he going to be able to survive? Who's now in charge? What would you do? Every minute counts. You had your adrenaline pumping. You wanted to solve this, solve that, figure everything out. Have you made a decision yet? There are two simulations running at the same time. The media. So who's the Secretary of Treasury? And politicians. The military response. Who make their biggest decisions here, in the Situation Room. This might feel like the real thing, but don't worry. It's just a game. Or is it? When you come and participate in the Situation Room experience, you are in this, the White House Situation Room. This is not a replica. This is actually the room from the White House that was taken out in 2006. Mr. President. In the Situation Room experience, students are thrown into the stress and chaos our country endured 36 years ago during the assassination attempt of President Ronald Reagan. Don't say he's stable though, because I might be wrong. It's an eye-opening simulation. Trust but verify. Because instead of opening up a book to learn about the event, we have decided to keep all government involvement out of the New York Stock Exchange. These students relive it. I do believe that it, it does give you a different perspective of the situation room as a whole. And they do it all surrounded by history. I think having the actual situation room here makes history real for them. They can sit here at the table where six presidents conducted foreign policy and then you know, walk in those shoes. Is that the decision we're making? Each group has two and a half hours to handle the national emergency. The decision making process can be very challenging when you're under pressure and you're working with limited information. As more information trickles in, each media outlet does a live report, laying out their facts to the public. But sometimes not all the info is correct. How stressful was that? It was intense, uh, to the point where I was like, okay, are you sure this is true? We have to make sure the facts are correct because we almost ended up posting something that was not correct. We don't have any information as of right now. We it's a two-way street. The media has to be well informed about reporting the facts, and the Situation Room has to choose what information can be released to the public. Yeah, that's that was the most stressful part, was just the lack of communication towards the end, especially. Rosemary, we gotta send paratroopers. Each choice they make changes the course of the game. Is the U.S. getting involved in Ukraine? Okay. And in the end, students walk out experiencing history firsthand. Do you think that the simulation helped you understand what would happen in the Situation Room more than actually reading it in the books? By far, because I've actually been able to read about it in textbooks, and being here, um, nothing could have prepared me for actually just doing it. I've learned more here today than I would have by what I've read in the past. Ariel Hickson, Channel One News. Talk about a true hands-on learning experience. Plus, Ariel has all the behind-the-scenes from the Situation Room. You can check it out on channel1.com. I'm getting it together. Getting it together.